Lovers. Today we are going to be making our very own Payanki. That is a chandelier made out of beads and straw. So I've gone ahead and prepared what I want to put on my Payanki. The first thing I'm going to do is get some kind of string. So for mine I'm using fishing line just because I thought it would be pretty durable and I'm going to cut it into six pieces and then attach it to my ring that I'm going to hang my payanki from. Make sure after you have all of your strings attached that you secure it nice and tightly. You want them all to be kind of close together so it's going to be easier to put on your beads. So since I started with six different strings, when I pull them down I should have 12 because it is multiplying by two. So after I have secured all of those, they are nice and tightly put together, I'm going to start attaching my beads. So it was easier for me to do a few at a time and then I'm going to run all of my strings through those beads. These are going to be the very top beads that kind of are the beginning of your chandelier. So make sure that all of them are pushed all the way to the top. If you have any tangles in your string, now is the time to kind of get that figured out. And then we are going to start adding our beads to the different legs. So payanki means like a paper spider. So what I'm going to be doing is kind of creating this spider legs. And I'm just starting with two strings, beading it up. And you want these to be fairly long, but it also kind of depends on what size you want your payanki to be. So you could have a smaller one, you could have a really large one, your payanki could have multiple levels to it. My only had two, but I tried making mine kind of complex and I really wanted to add a bunch of different things to mine. So I have a combination of paper flowers that I made and then punched a hole in the center. I use sequins, I use straws that I got from Ikea and paper straws. One of the straws I even used was a plastic straw and then covered it in washi tape and then put some glue just to secure the washi tape on top of it. So I'm going to be making sure that everything is nice and tightly put on and then I'm going to begin starting my next legs to the spider. So after your first leg is done, you are going to continue on for the next five. Okay, because we had one and then we have five and that is going to be six. So each time we're running thread through our needle and through our beads, we are going to have two things of thread. And here is my cat Araya making a guest appearance. So then what I'm going to be doing is attaching the strings onto my hoop. I found it was so much easier to have the two strings to go ahead and knot. So then all I'm going to do is hang it up, make sure that everything is even, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom portion of my payanki. I even added some strings going to the center and I'm going to have something um, dangling from the center of it but I decided to add some pom pom trim and some flowers that I had made. I'm attaching everything with hot glue at this point and yeah then I'm going to start doing the bottom part which you can't really see. I made these tassels out of plastic which you can find on another YouTube tutorial that I made but all it is is a plastic straw and I cut them into tassels and then I ended up taking metallic sequins and placing them on top just to kind of hide that hot glue. So here you can see the tassel from the center kind of pulling down. That tassel I made out of yarn and then just hot glued it to the center of the bead that was hanging down. So I have six different things going from the outside to the inside and then that's how I created that inside uh, area to look a little bit prettier too. I wanted it to be kind of a complex chandelier. I ended up adding a pearl bead string around the tassel just to give it a little oomph and then I also added wood beads around the top of the tassel also to kind of hide that hot glue. And then this is what it looks like with all of the details. 
you can kind of see that everything is painted and put together. So this is the finished project. I think what took me the most time was kind of preparing everything beforehand, but putting it together was a breeze and I'm really proud of it. If you like this video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. If you decide to make your own creation, use what blue made me do as your hashtag. I would love it. You can find me on Instagram, Etsy, and pretty much everywhere else. Happy exploring.